Okay, for 2010, we have some things we're trying to do. Uh, first of all, the IMB is reshaping. They're starting to put a lot more, uh, I like, a lot more accountability on the missionaries on the front lines. I think that's a great thing. Uh, a lot more feedback, a lot more assistance in uh, accountability in uh, what we're supposed to be doing. We, we look forward to 2010. The first four months, we'll be here concentrating primarily on Brelia and working with Marius Menzine and the, the church at Metanoia. At the same time, Randy Nicholas and Don Nicholas will be in the big church, uh, Holy Trinity, Swint at Miami, in uh, uh, hopes that they can bring some, uh, a little bit of shaping to uh, the ministry there that under Ben Boingiano, Pastor Ben Boingiano is doing a great job. I hear there's a little revival in that big church, uh, and, and I thank God for that. The clinic is also very important to us, the, the people who come to the clinic and have given us names to do Bible studies. That'll be a, a thing we'll want you to pray for this year. Pray for Randy and Don as they transition to Brelia, our new team members. Pray for Justin as he comes back. He will be living in Brelia, working with the Metanoia group and teaching them the Galatz plan and, and, and at least showing them uh, how to get into those houses of the Orthodox and, and try to reach them with the gospel of grace, the gospel of repentance, the gospel of assurance. And uh, that's not so easy, easier said than done. Uh, I will be working on my language in the mornings. Uh, I have Costell coming over helping me, and Daniela will be helping. Uh, we have work in the valley, of course. We do see an eternal work that has gone on down there. We just got to figure out how to get it together and get it organized under leadership of Bo Don and Paula and myself and Pastor Ovi. Um, we have uh, a lot of ambition this year. We want to see one of the greatest things I heard in two, for 2010 was uh, two young college students called me. One wrote me by email, one called me and said they were interested in starting a college group, of which half of them were lost a few years ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, a couple of them are still lost, but the group of them, the core group, is going to be very strong. Two or three out of the Holy Trinity Church two or three new believers that have been discipled, and they're all wanting to start a group, and I pray God will bless that. I want to do anything I can to help them, and please pray for them. Uh, we are so excited about working with Morris Menzine down in Brelia. I can't even hardly sit still. I've got my office clean. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to try to start a little bit of a men's group on Monday amongst missionary men, and hoping that will strengthen us through the rest of the week. Um, so there's just some there's some things that we're looking forward to in 2010. Please pray for us. The next 120 days are crucial. We'll be coming to the states in uh, in somewhere in May through August, and we're looking forward probably be staying uh, somewhere in Pensacola uh, near relatives, traveling up to Missouri. Uh, looking forward to speaking to Cameron and some other churches there. Uh, we'll probably be heading to Prestonwood down there in Texas. Uh, want to see them and, and encourage them with the support they've given us. Uh, just uh, come back in August and start school again. And, and I'll just have another three years uh, to, to ramp up and, and continue the work that we started here. The Kingdom Doctrine Track will become a focus of our efforts. Uh, the trumpet calls will become a focus of our efforts, and we will try to train as many people as we can in those two areas. The trumpet calls, where they learn to share Jesus without fear. The kingdom doctrine track, where they learn about Adam. Uh, they learn about Abraham, Moses, the return of Christ. Uh, many, many things they have to have uh, down pat uh, before they feel like they have a chance at teaching the kingdom doctrine track. So we look forward to, of course, want to pray for our friends in Bucharest. Uh, we want to pray for uh, Richard and Wanda Clark, who are leading the team down there, and the Wagstaffs on the west side of the country. Pray that God will pull our team together this year. We pray for the Browns, pray for the Myers, the Craigs. Uh, there's a lot of uh, work going on down there in Bucharest, difficult work. Jeremy has started the National Library Campaign. We want to pray for him. It's not easy in Bucharest. Talked to Randy Myers yesterday. He said it's very difficult, so please lift them in prayer. Uh, we just ask that God will uh, just pour out His Spirit on our work this year, uh, especially in Brelia. I, I, I have a part of town, the north part of town there, I really want to hit hard. And uh, with Justin coming back, we, uh, we intend to do that. So I uh, just want to keep you updated for 2010. We are very excited about it. Um, we, we just have learned a lot last year that um, I thank God for changed my heart, transforming me into uh, the likeness of Christ, which is a miracle every day, and we pray that God will go before you and your ministry and expand and, and work through your life 
Uh, it's important to stay close to the Lord. It's important to stay humble. It's important to stay in the Word. And we ask that God will bless you. I know you have many things going on. Uh, and and uh, we just ask you to take a, a time apart from that to pray for us and our ministry. We're going to start really championing Eastern Romania. It has a great need. Uh, less than one half of one percent of the people have saving faith, and there's a great work that needs to be done. So pray for these young people. Pray for us, National Bible Reading Campaign, and we uh, dearly, dearly covet your prayers and thank you for them. Thank you.